Great. Okay. I'm bad at intros. We're not doing one. It's Darkest Dungeon. Playing with no torches. If you don't know what that means, you're gonna find out. <laughs> uh. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. So my biggest hope at this point is that the audio balance is somewhat reasonable. This is the tutorial level. It has pop-ups. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. The main objective of the tutorial level is to navigate through this the pop-ups and occasionally hit people, fashion, I guess. That all may hear of your arrival. As you can see, we're doing a pretty good job of getting through all the pop-ups. That one gave unchecked. us money, so I'm pretty alright with it. Much to be found in forgotten places. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. <laughs> so there are obviously returned, mechanics in this game. Is no this one, welcome. the guy who is two tiles deep, is an interesting one. I'll briefly explain combat now. On the left side, along the top, above where it says open vein, you'll see white dots that's where he can use the attack from the red dots are what he can hit with the attack so that said everything else is relatively self-explanatory accuracy is acc damage is damg and that sort of thing and uh yeah i'm just gonna hit him with my knife and that's basically the battle strategy like, they're gonna do things, we're gonna get bled, he's gonna shoot us with his gun, and so I'm just, just kinda, you know, swing. Because it's the tutorial level, and these aren't a pop-up, so I don't feel that it's uh, really worth thinking about too hard. Damage over time effects do stack with themselves. So, previously he would have taken two damage from his bleed, now he is taking four. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. We succeeded at violence. The bigger the beast, the and like, the glory. didn't even get stressed out about it. And we got a. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay, great. The reward chest was a trap. <laughs> Welcome to Darkest Dungeon. Okay, that's a pretty weak sauce reward, but I'll take it. Because I don't have a choice. Oh, that is so good to get on a Crusader. I already have a bonus against them, Dad, so I'm just stacking it up. Welcome home, such as it is. This Great. squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands. Yep, help, HP. Got it. And you are bound so, to them. 
since we're doing a torchless run, it is of the utmost importance Women and men, that we upgrade our ability to get live fools bodies. And corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road now is we'll clear. Now we'll get four here next time we come back from a mission, which may be extraordinarily what better necessary. laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? All right. Now, Warrior of Light is normally really good, but we're going to be in the dark kind of a lot. This is going to be Sage, Sage of Halo. going to be Thinkar. Oh. Mm. I'm not super thrilled about that skill set, but we'll make you arrow. And who does the highwayman get renamed as? I have a notepad for this. Nice. All right. Excellent. Uh, since we actually can't click on anything else, we're just going to the next quest. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. Pretty sure that's yeah yeah yeah. The cost so of preparedness we don't take torches now in gold. Later because that would be playing the game as it was blood. intended. And I'm not okay with that. The fiends must be driven back, and what better place to begin than the seat oh, nice. of Very our noble line? No thinking required. Go in the line. Apply violence to monsters. Receive awesome. Why did I do that? I just actually took it out of its stand and threw it on the ground. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again, to be honest. Uh, I don't know why anyone wants to have torches. I don't know why they're in these stands. We just gotta get rid of them. Nice. Okay, here we go. They're very low HP. This should be easy. I'm not super familiar with all of the abilities that all the heroes have, even though I've given it like 20 hours of gameplay so far. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. <sighs> Confidence surges we'll as there. the enemy crumbles. Great, easy fight. This expedition at least promises success. Cool. We're gonna run into a trap. Uh, Mal can probably successfully disarm it. Yep, thanks. That's pop up bot disarming. Nope, he failed. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. It was a tarp all the time. That's fine. We brought food to eat it. You guys can eat. Take a stab at this. <laughs> <You feel again? laughs> oh, I'll just leave the mouse up here so you can read what it does when the light goes out. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. We're actually going to uh, use a bit more food here. Put some of those hit points back. I'm surprised at how, uh, how easy it's been so far. 
I attempted to do a recording before this one where I ended up messing up the audio balance so bad that I just threw the file away. But, uh, they tried a lot harder to kill me on that attempt. This is just been a dog over victory, but a victory nonetheless. I'm disappointed. I want everyone to go nuts. That's why we're fighting in total darkness. It's the point of the video, right? Okay, that'll help a lot. really lucky by him. He doesn't have any particular good bleed resist. But he did it twice in a row like a jerk. Two is a good roll. Eight HP healed in a single turn is nothing to scoff at. It's just not all precisely where I want it to be. Okay, well he can be blighted at least. Please do stack up. Oh my gosh, that did a bleed as well. All right. Take it back. You're trying hard enough now. You can you can take it back down again. Oh. I just had to open my mouth, didn't I? Mortality clarified in a single strike. Oh. Yep. Such a terrible assault cannot be Your left unanswered. Zero HP. They're at death's door. When they are at death's door, they have to make death saving throws every time they take damage. Like when their turn comes and they're bleeding. Or they die. The bigger the Making beast, progress, though. The greater the glory. <laughs> Mal's still alive for now. Any attack that he did would have been pretty weak because death stores also comes with massive debuffs. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. Down to one. I don't think he can use his attack that hits everyone in the front rank. Yep, rush shot. can be felled, they can be beaten. So you're still bleeding. For two more points, I will bring you to four HP. You all have one. Somehow you have a fraction of a hit point at two point four. What are you doing? <laughs> How what? There's there's nothing that modifies HP. Why do you just Glenn, you're killing me here. Well. We just need to get our HP up enough that going through this would 
with our bare hands. Without kill us. Of iron, you must rely on flesh, an indefatigable purpose. Actually, it's probably correct for you to open it. Great. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to click on the door. <laughs> it's okay, this is totally doable. Even with this mix up, it's fine. Yes. With really lucky roll. Now everything's nice and soft. Oh my gosh, that lit it up. Do I care about that? Do I? I mean, I kind of do. From becoming unwound. I might never use illumination again. Oh, that's extraordinarily lucky. <laughs> Thanks, pop up box. Two to four. I have three and four HP. You don't get to take your supplies back with you, so you might as well just use them whenever the occasion for it pops up. As nice. victories mount, so too will resistance. Alright, we got to see a little bit of Wealth a little beyond tiny measure bit of things going around. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Oh, well, that's that seems reasonable. I'm not gonna use it though, because Damage and stress damage is what I'm about. Room by room, <coughs> hall by hall, we reclaim what is ours. It's a pretty nice amount of gold for the first quest. Everyone survived, surprisingly. Um, great. I don't really know what Hyromania does. Once, our estate was the envy of this land. No one really broke. I mean... One person did, but... They decided that it was time to be answered instead of time to be... The cobwebs have been dusted, nuisance. the pews set straight. So... The Abbey called to the faithful. I guess we're just gonna have to wait until next time in order to experience nuisances. Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. Oh. For some, a tonic against the bloodshed. I guess Errol only likes the booze maha. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. So the first bar is stress recovery, and the second bar is reduced cost. Don't worry, we're gonna use this one. Let's see what our B team's gonna look. Oh my gosh, this is not favorable. Okay, battle heal. All right. So this guy right here, he's our healer for the B team. It's gonna be great. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. But we'll worry about per actual performance next time. Why is why go away? All right. <laughs> Take care.